What's up guys and gals, my name is Splattercat and welcome back to the next episode of our Dawn of War 2 single player playthrough. In the last episode, we had had to go over to Meridian and help the Iggies out, kind of taking care of some Eldar threats. They've been looting and polluting and just kind of stealing things left and right. But we've got some leveling up to do, so let's see if we can do that a little bit more rapidly. We can get him up to Righteous Fury right now, which allows him to deal explosive damage. That sounds pretty badass. I love explosions. Or we can keep moving down the HP line, which is going to make him more of a bruiser. I think what I'll do is maybe, yeah, let's grab the ability we can right now. That is going to increase his damage up pretty high. He's at 121 melee damage right now, which is fairly impressive. Let's take a look at some of the gear we've got on hand, too, because we did pick up a lot of stuff in the last level. We got the Mantle of Calderas, 27% flame weapon damage resistance. It's kind of an odd item. It's got a lot of fire resistance. Maybe that'll be useful in the future. Did we get a new pistol here? We did. Deliverance. We can strap that in, and that's going to increase his DPS quite a bit, and it gives him really good accuracy and does a lot of damage to vehicles, too. But it has a reduced rate of fire, so it's kind of like a poor man's plasma pistol, I guess. This one, by contrast, gives him two melee skill. I don't know. Let me see what happens here. Well, that's a tough call. He's not really a ranged character. We haven't built him like that at all, but... The extra damage, I wonder if that damage transfers over. Eh, I doubt it does. Let's look at the other, the Crusader's Zeal, level 8 Chainsword to replace a level 6. And it gives him damage resistance, but he gets no health regeneration. Oh, wow. So he gets suppression resistance. That's a really good weapon, but it recovers 12 health on hit. That's a tough one. That means that you can't bail out in combat. That's a scary weapon right there. That's a balls-to-the-wall gambler's weapon. I like that they allowed it to drop, but for now, I use pullback tactics so much that I think it might be a bad idea. Other armors that might be useful. That one has a negative. I'm just going to get rid of that one altogether. It has negative 51 armor rating, which just makes you squishy as hell. And it only gives you plus one to your combat discipline, so that's going straight to the librarium. You cannot dispose of this item. Odd. Alright then, well maybe we cure it or something later. I don't know. Maybe later on we find like a tech priest or somebody that can fix it. Merciless Truth, a little bit better, gives us melee skill. Crimson Immortality, range damage resistance there. I actually like the armor he has better right now. Other things to consider. Oh, we have a commander item finally, but it's only useful if you're at level 9, so we can't use that just yet. Let's level up Tarkus. We're going to finish his... Yeah, I think we're going to finish off his... Pretty much, yeah, we're going to finish off his range, and then I think what we're going to do is just completely and totally pump HP from there, possibly. And that'll get him up to maybe veteran squad mates, which are pretty good. I think the veteran squad mates, from what I remember, I don't remember what weapons they get, but they're pretty badass. So he's maxed out right now. Let's see if maybe there's something worth swapping out with his weapons. Argentus Fury. It does way less damage than the plasma gun, but it does scatter damage. And... It gives plus 25, ooh, tw yeah, that one's going to be our swap out right there. So basically what this does is it gives a 30% chance per hit of a plus 25 damage to everyone around. Basically explosive rounds. That's pretty badass. Now he's equipped with a movement speed, accuracy, and health increasing armor of Vandea. I don't think we have anything better than that right now, so we're going to have to let him sit for the time being. I'm going to keep him with the locator beacon and the frag grenades because I don't like anything else here. With Avitus... Getting him to Terminator Honors, you guys had recommended that, but somebody had brought up the interesting ability of going all the way up here so he could focus fire all the time. That is a pretty cool ability, but I've got so many points invested now getting him towards Terminator that maybe that was an error on my part. I am going to work him towards a new loadout slot, though. He has to the bare minimum able to be carried like the Rosaris or the Rosarius and maybe the Signum at the same time. The Rosarius is good. But I find myself really wanting artillery strikes a lot of the time, just with the way that I like to keep the enemy at arm's length. Over here with Cyrus, we're going to continue down here with Silent Revival. That's going to allow him to infiltrate and res people without being detected, which is really good as well. That can be a lifesaver in the middle of a mission. I'm going to keep him with melt bombs We're going to keep him with Demolition Charges. The Brigandine of Swiftness. Let's see here. Enemy attacks, from enemy attacks that are melee allow him to sprint for a while. I don't know if that would be any good. 
It does make him look badass, gives him some kind of urban camo with a cool cape, and I am a sucker for capes. Neophytic Pride is technically better though, I think. Because I don't see a whole lot of opportunities for him to get eaten up by melee. That's got a bigger armor value though, so maybe we'll just stick with it for now. He's already got Death Touch, which is better than the Improved Sniper Rifle, so we'll send that to the Librarium. Send the Shotgun to the Librarium. Neophytic Pride we'll hold on to. Some of this stuff over here, we'll take a look through at a later date. But for now, I'd like to hold on to the accessories that we have on hand. Just kind of keep them in our back pocket. Thaddeus is up a level. He's got two points to allocate. We're going to keep moving him towards Terminator Honors. He's already got power weapons, so we can give him like a Thunder Hammer or something of that nature if we want to. He's got a ability that's not amazing right there. Maybe something else we can slot in there. Maybe give him the 31 health bonus because he is going to be in melee. We might bring him into the next mission just to make sure he gets a little bit of a workout. Give him Herald of the Coming Doom. Just so he's got it. And then Snarl of the Wolf's about the best he can equip for now. We'll bring Thaddeus on the next mission just to say we did. Instead of maybe... Ooh, Cyrus is so good. I don't know. Bring him maybe instead of... Avatus and have him be our guy? I don't know, guys. I just don't know. Oh, there's a Lion's Roar for Avatus. I forgot about that. And that's a big jump in DPS, so irregard or regardless of what happens. I keep using that word improperly. Regardless of what happens, we want to upgrade him with that. And it looks like it's got a chance for knockback, which is pretty sweet. Maybe think about... Let's take a look at our mission options before I decide who I'm going to deploy. Lord of the Wraiths. So I guess there's a big badass enemy here that we might want to bring along. So yeah, that would be a mission for Thaddeus, I think. And we'd probably want to swap him out for... I just don't know right now. I don't know what the right choice is. No idea what the right choice would be. I suppose we'll swap Thaddeus out for... I don't know. It's, it's a roll of the dice for me right now. I don't really know which ones I want to bring along. Since Tarkus is kind of a tanky unit, it's kind of a temptation to swap him out for Tarkus. And then just have Avatus, and Cyrus is just so amazingly tactically viable that I like to keep him around. Especially since right here it looks like we're going up against something that's going to be weak against the Melta grenades that we have. Commander, we have detected a major Eldar incursion. A large alien force has struck a series of Imperial Guard positions and civilian transport hubs in rapid succession. A powerful Wraith Lord Walker reportedly led the attack. The alien host is retreating, but we have managed to keep sight of them. We need you to strike before the Wraith Lord escapes. Okay, so let's do it. We had a couple options here. I didn't say that, but we could go back to Typhon right now and get into a nice little throwdown with the with the Nids. But unfortunately, I, I like to clear up all my business at one location. I'm a pragmatist. I'd like to get this all done before we head back over and cause any problems. Losing Tarkus is a little scary, but I'd like to be a little bit more fluid, so we're going to bring Thaddeus along. I'm going to play around with him. I've noticed I've never used Thaddeus before, and you guys seem to like him, so we're going to give him a shot. So let's deploy. Are you a savior or a warrior? I don't know. Well, yeah, I like both. I mean, wiping out the enemy, as long as they all die before I'm done with my mission, it seems like a pretty good... As long as they're spurting blood out of their orifices, or their orifices, I feel better. So maybe we'll stick with that as our M.O. doing his crazy Tao Tai Chi. Or I'm sorry, his Tao Tai Chi. His Eldar Tai Chi or whatever the hell it is he's doing right there. Just meditating. Getting ready for the battle to come. We'll skip that overview right there. And we'll have a look around. Now, I don't really know how to use Thaddeus as he stands right now. I suppose I just use him as like a hit and run tactic. Alien Walker's location is flagged on your map display, Commander. This giant wields bizarre and dangerous technologies. Our weapons will find their mark. We have two choices right here, and I think I'm going to take the comma ray just so I can call in more artillery strikes if I need to. Our trajectory, well, if we want to, if we want to really, like really stretch this out, we could just go this way and just kind of zigzag our way back and forth, catch that, and then go up and around and finish the mission. So I think we'll do that. Let me have the boys here. Grab Cyrus and let's take a look over here, see what we're up against. We got some warp spiders. Some general foes that don't really terrify me at all. Move him forward. 
And Thaddeus is number two. Okay. So let's have Thaddeus jump in here. Scouts fall back. We're going to let the commander just get shot at here. I thought I dropped him right there. Let's see if we can bait them back. He's got Merciless Strike, and he's got Assault Jump. I don't really want to do that just yet. Let's take the Force Commander, and we'll have him work his way on up in here. Avitus will take that position. The Scouts will take right there. Let me get my hands on Thaddeus for right now. And once we've got Thaddeus all nice and selected... Oh, never mind. They've got pretty good cover here. Let's see what they're willing to do in order to clear us out. Let me see if I can get maybe... Yeah, that seems okay. We'll get them into position. Let's get our scouts in right there. With Thaddeus, we'll have them keep an eye on our interests over on this side, maybe. Let's kind of keep an eye on anything that might go wrong with people... Oh. Okay, so let's pull them back. And we'll have him jump in. Thaddeus, go ahead and handle the melee here with the Banshees. Avidus, we're going to have fall back as well. God, they are just amazing at busting up my lines. It is really frustrating how good they are at that. And since we have no cover and everybody's out from behind their cover and we're just getting pelted with a decan in there. Let's have everybody pull back, and hopefully she'll drop in just a moment. I just want to be out of the line of sight of that D-cannon. Right, so Avitus fallen right there. Scouts. Everybody else back in. Once the Assault Squad's here, we'll have them make a jump, maybe. Think about maybe wiping out that cannon. Well, that didn't do nearly as much damage as I figured it would. I mean, they are suppressed. It worked out okay. Ooh, an Iron Fist. That'll help out in the future. Let's get them back and out. Just kind of hit and run for it. Move Avitus forward. There's another one over there. Maybe have him fire on that cannon while we can. What is this guy doing over here? Do a little bit of damage. Maybe combine fire. There we go. So now it's down. We'll grab the Barding of Mars. Thaddeus, hair gel, whatever your name is. Say it now before the cleansing begins. God, without Tarkus, I have nobody to kind of take a beachhead that I like. We'll continue working this way up the street. Maybe think about situating our scouts right there since they're long ranged. Have Avitus take that. Why won't it just bond where I want it to? It's a lot of enemies here, and they've got the fences pretty well erected. For the remainder of the level. That's not very good cover either. Might be worthwhile to see if we could get somebody into that position right there. Let's put him into focus fire mode just to say we did. I need them to be out of cover. We'll put them into cover right here. It looks like we're going to get into a shootout. So let me drop a artillery strike right there to do whatever damage we can. Kind of get them out of this position. There we go. Very nice. So let's move him forward now. Force Commander, get yourself up and in here. Maybe we'll be able to bust these guys apart. There we go. And so now that they're all busted apart, they're out. Oh, you're not the right unit. I've got my hotkeys mixed up here. Grab that for now. Think about the possibility of where I want Avidus to go next. Although I'm not being left with a whole lot of options here. Put him back into focus fire mode. Just deal as much damage as possible. Maybe have them stealth to that position right there. Might be an interesting thing to do. And then possibly have them jump to there. Just to cause a little bit of chaos. There it is. And then have them engage for just a moment. There it is. And now that their job is done, we'll have them fall back, maybe baiting somebody else. Get them out of cover. Let's get Avatus up and into that building right there. Force Commander is going to be moving ahead. We'll take our assault troops. We'll have them move to there. 
And we're actually going to have them drop in on the Shuriken Cannon if they can. Deal a little bit of damage. Force Commander's looking a little bit rough. I don't know if he'll survive. I don't want to tempt fate here, but I think he'll be all right. That flanking maneuver actually worked out fairly well. Oh, God, they've got guys up in the building. Didn't even think about it. Well, then, let's flush them out. Let's flush this turd. Get them all nice and taken care of, and then the Force Commander will get in here and capture our first CP for the mission. Hopefully that demolition charge doesn't take out Force Commander. That'll be sad if it does. All right, cool. Get Avatus out of there. Get him ready for the next engagement. Actually, put him up in the guard tower. Same with Cyrus and his boys. And then we'll have these two troops kind of move forward, see what we can bait out and towards us. We've got another shuriken cannon over there. I don't suppose there's any supplies right here. We could use another artillery. Actually, no. Artilleries are limited engagement tools. Never mind. Well... Shuriken Cannon there. We need that to fall victim to Cyrus's boys, so maybe we'll stealth them on in. As you order. What's this on this side? A Shuriken as well? Let's put our first Melta on that one over there. And then we'll retreat as quickly as possible. Alright, so that's down, and we're not suppressed. That may also bait them back, and then we'll wait for the Melta to be ready to go. Actually, we don't even need to do that. Let's not... Let's not mess around too much. We'll get the Force Commander up on and in here. Assault squad acknowledged. Yes. Maintain camouflage scouts. Get everybody in here as quickly as possible. Maybe break up that flank right there if we can. There we go. Very nice. And then we'll put them into melee as quickly as possible. I do like Thaddeus. I, I gotta get a feeling for what his tactical use is, though. It seems like he's good for things like that, where the enemy has got one of your ranged units flanked. You can jump straight in, wipe them out, get a little bit of work done, do work, son, and all that fun stuff. At the same time, I always feel like I'm gonna overextend him and get him trapped, which is a big terror for me. Devastator Marines. Let's see if we can get them into nice, safe cover there. Force Commander is gonna be moving in along with Thaddeus for now. I don't know where the enemy's at. Sometimes the bonding on the cover makes me a little bit sad. Ooh, D cannon there. Let's get the Force Commander in. Oh, there's a big old blow that we just took. Let's get Avatus in right there. Let's get them to jump in right there if they can. And let's get our scouts in a similar position, if at all possible. Ooh, we got a big guy over here. Let's get our scouts to throw a melt on that thing. Put him into hero mode so that he doesn't get knocked back. First melt a bomb away. We should be able to bring him down fairly quickly. Put him into focus fire just to make sure we're dealing suitable DPS. It looks like we did a pretty good job right there. That actually flushed them out rather nicely. Although if we were in Australia, it would have flushed in the opposite direction. I will make that assertion right now. Let's bust that box open while we can. Grab some support items. Very cool. We have used one of our med kits, so that is going to replace the one that we are out of. Let's have Avidus deploy to right there. Scouts maybe come over to here while in stealth. Thaddeus keep him in the back so that he's within range and then Force Commander in the center. Okay, so we've got a pretty good blockade of enemies right here. I'm finding myself sort of wishing... Oh, they're on the other side of the road too. Alright, let's have a common front then. I don't want to fight from three different directions here if I can help it. Let's get Avidus right there. Thaddeus will get ready. Scouts will fight from right there and get them out of camouflage. Ooh, I don't think they're actually going to bait. Okay, so they didn't bait and follow through with us. Does leave me a little extended. Put Thaddeus right there. Think about maybe having Thaddeus jump into that location along with the Force Commander. Cause a little bit of chaos. Put him into... Why aren't you guys coming down here? Get down here. Well, this actually... Let's do a sniper round. Nope, it didn't. I was hoping this... Oh, it did. Never mind. The sniper round took that out rather well, actually. Thaddeus is all cut off and beat up now. They weren't able to take care of their target, but I am going to pull out them right there just to make sure they get out in time. God, they are squishy. It's okay, though. We are well surrounded for the time being. We need to put a Melta on them right now. Alright, so Melta's back in. Let's fall back for just a moment, see if we can't regenerate a tad. 
get his troop refilled at the CP. Because we have taken some pretty good hits right there. This is a really bad location. I'm thinking maybe I should have come across in this lower one right here. So let's think about doing that. Let's bring everybody back around and maybe hit from this direction. That was a bad choice on my part. Getting hit from here, here, and here simultaneously. Kind of terrifying, actually. Thinking about maybe putting Avidus in right there. Thaddeus will come down in here and help out with the back row. We're low on supplies right now, so we are going to want to knock over a few more CPs, and we're definitely going to want to hit one of the forges or the satellites over in here. Get everybody in where we can, and maybe bait them back down and around the slope. There we go. And then focus fire like hell. Now, with Thaddeus. My first temptation is to jump them into there, because that would do a lot of damage to everything in that location. Unfortunately, I'm just not feeling brave enough. We are killing quite a few guys up and in there, though. I am liking his increased range that we got earlier on. Yeah, let's break them up for a minute. There it is. Very good. Oh, and now we've been suppressed again. Let's get Avitus into that building. Force Commander needs to cause a problem for these guys while we're at it, though. There we go. So the Devastators are now in position. Let's get our scouts, maybe Thaddeus up and in here. Thaddeus can come just kind of fiddle with these guys a tad. A bunch of enemies over there. There it is. There's the assault that I was waiting for. There's another enemy up there. Let's get out of the building since they're targeting it. Oh my. Not liking my position right now. Be really, really honest. The game seems to be fairly good at depleting me of any type of cover. Let's jump in from there. But still, like, I don't know. Just not feeling the aerial strike. It is nice to have an extra melee unit, though. I will say that. The reason I evacuated Avitus out of there, if you guys don't know, is that if that building goes down, it kills everybody inside of it, which is a big, big downer. Why aren't they? God, they're doing the same thing I'm trying to do. They're trying to bait me back. Little bitches. Although I suppose that makes me a little bitch too. That is the that is the concession I have to make right there. If I'm going to say that they're a bitch for using my tactics, then well, I guess I join them in my bitchity. Squad is ready to deploy. I don't know which direction I want to cut in first. They have so many just ridiculous forces up here. And without Tarkus, it's tough to break the line for me. They're going to destroy this cover really quickly with these cannons over here. Let's see what we can do with a surgical strike with Cyrus for now. They've got two. That's the big problem. Two of those things. Bad enough when there's just one, but two, and I need to save some Meltas for later, but there's two crates right there. Let me see what kind of positioning I can get people into. I'm going to swing them in right here. I'm going to get Avidus in low. Force Commander is going to be right there. We get Thaddeus in from behind there. And melt a bomb them now. There we go. So we'll drop them out of cover. We'll use him to break them up. Get Avitus into a position that I like. 
We'll break up that cover right there with a jump strike. Got snipers, that's funsies. Yeah, sniper round. I can't tell what the sniper round's taking. I think it is. I think a sniper round actually drops that thing. Let's see what we can do with Thaddeus here. Bust them up a tad. A little bit more damage while we're out here. There we go. And then we'll send in Force Commander to deal with that group. Thaddeus will deal with this group. There's a grenade right there. I'm just gonna pray that it only gets this guy. Although it appears as though it got everybody. A little bit of a letdown there. Destroy that crate really fast. Get two refills on our gear. Take an advanced position while we can before they start to hit us again. We'll cut up on the right right here. Take that CP. And I don't know if I want to take the Shrine of the Emperor. We'll probably take this one over here so that I can call in more artillery strikes. Limited artillery strikes kind of sucks. We're good to go there. We've got that CP, so let's take the Force Commander and get moving again. This assault squad on the way. Be vigilant. That's a good position. Ooh, there it is right there. It took a little bit of fire. Force Commander is going to get eaten right there. I'm kind of using him as a scout right now, so don't think that it was my strategy to have him race in and absolutely 100% have everything be successful. Right, maybe let's have them jump in there. Well, not jump, but... The second they're in, I need them out. Well, maybe. If they can slaughter this group before anything else goes horribly wrong, I think we'll be all right. Black Rage, that's going to be good because we are using a bit more melee firepower here. Or fist power. Looks like we don't have anything else up here to worry about. Let me look for competitive cover so we can get rid of that group over there because I don't want to be getting hit from behind. Maybe have the scouts go in right there. Avidus maybe right there. I, I don't like any of the cover right here, but we'll live with it. And then we're going to make them immune to being knocked down. There are a lot of enemies right there. Yeah, I just, there's so many enemies right there. Could definitely use a bit more... Could use a bit more oomph, I guess. I'm just going to snipe these two right here. It's a little weird that a sniper round wipes those out, but I'll take it. I'll definitely take it if it saves me a bit of time. Salt Marines while we're waiting. Get back over here and get replenished. Then we'll use the other to melt of them, I guess. We'll save a sniper shot, throw a melt in there. There we go. And then we'll have them run away really quickly. We'll take this position really quickly. God, there's another one over there. How many of these things are they going to deploy? And they also have that building over there. Let me throw a bomb into that building while we can. That was way off target. I don't know what that was supposed to be, but we can snipe people out of the windows, but I'm going to avoid it for now. There we go. That one's a bit more on target. I guess we'll just exchange explosives right there. Two, I can probably have them jump into there, just to make sure that we're doing some kind of damage to these guys who are in really serious cover. Alright, there we go. So we've cleared out this position. We can now focus on the rightmost position over here. So let's get in there and do that. It's unfortunate these missions are starting to get longer and longer. It makes my rendering process very, very difficult. 
it actually, it's pretty much exponential. Like, the longer the episode is, the harder it is for me to actually get multiple episodes out in a day. This position up here, I am going to want to scout it first, just to say that I did. Looks like we've only got the one D cannon up here, and most of its crew is dead. They do, however, have a fortified building, which sucks a little bit. And we also don't have very good cover. Maybe what we'll do... I'm running out of specials here, so i got to count how many crates there are. There's two crates. Snipe that really quickly. And then fall back out. Maybe take that position there. Put the Force Commander in. Get the Assault Squad ready for any type of fight we can. I don't really... We'll jump over here and we'll see what happens. There might be a ton of enemies up in it over here, though. Make sure they can't be knocked down and that they can't be... I think that stops them from being suppressed as well. No, it's just for knockback. Never mind. And then we'll flush out this position. And I need to get these guys out of this building. So we'll send in the scouts while we wait. Make sure that they flush these guys out. Oh, hit with a D cannon from down there. Damn. That sucks. Well then, take a sniper shot. Down it goes. No, we'll put a bomb on that building. Get them on out of there. And down goes their building. And that unit right there is really close to losing one of their guys, so we need to make sure that they don't take any further fire. And down they go. Let's capture this CP. And we're doing pretty good right now. We're, we're taking a little bit of fire. For me, learning to use a new unit, I think I'm doing okay. I'm not really sure I'm using them properly. They seem to be pretty good for busting people out of cover, which... Grenades are great for that, too. And I guess we gotta pick a location. I'm gonna go with the satellite array over here so that I can get myself nice and dug in with some brand new tech. Ooh, never mind. There's a bunch of enemies over there. You guys fall back for just a moment while I think about what I want to do with this. There's no cover, so we're approaching them with cover. Or hoping to steal cover. Maybe coming in right there will work. We'll put the recruits right there, and then we'll have the force commander draw most of the fire off. For now, I guess. We've got another D cannon. They are just using D cannons like crazy. But they're missing a lot too, which makes me happy. Well, let me send the scouts in and up here to see what's going on with this D cannon. We'll have Thaddeus jump in right about the time. Ooh, unfortunate. Well then. Let's get them in there and bomb out this building. We'll draw Thaddeus back for a moment. Force Commander will hang out, kind of do his thing. The Carapace of War. Drop them out of cover really quickly or out of stealth. They should wipe out a bunch of those guys. And then we'll figure out what we want to do with this rightmost barrier. I don't think it would be a terrible plan to put Avatus and that group over there while I take a look. Just to shoot anybody that's on the bridge because they don't have any cover anyways. I don't think that would be a total waste of my deployment. Have Avatus make some boom boom over here. The hymn of zeal. We will sneak Cyrus on in over here. We gotta grab some supplies while we're on this building, anyways. It'll make our lives easier. Oh, is that actually blocked off? Well then, bust it up. There we go. Be vigilant. My judgments are fast in shadow. It looks like they do have a fortified. Oh, they have a fortified everything over here. Well then, our only real plan is to throw from a long ways away and hope that we can get away by the time it lands. I don't know if that's going to blast out the building. That was way off target from where I pointed it. There we go. So building number one is down. 
The Despair of the Heretic. It's a pretty badass name. So now... I think Avit is there. Them there. Force Commander over here, maybe. Jump them in to cover the rest of my units here. And destroy their cover, it looks like. Fun, fun, fun. And I need a final satchel charge on that location right there. Let's knock them out of cover while we can. Down that goes. Let's get the Force Commander away from there. And then we're going to have everybody pull out with the Force Commander in the back. We're going to have to hit them again in just a moment. We're taking a bit too much attrition on this fight. Part of the problem is I keep destroying my own cover like an idiot. God, we lost a bunch of scouts right there, but I think he has that ability where he replenishes his own dudes now. I don't remember. Looks like we lost some scouts unless those are just decorations. Let's see, what do I want to do? This is Avidus. Let's put Avidus in right there. Repositioning. Put the scouts in right there now that everybody's healed. Assault squad ready. Assault squad repositioning. Get the assault squad ready for a jump, maybe. And I do feel like I need to flush this out right here. Open up with Avidus while we can't. Ah, oh, God. Perfectly thrown grenade. And then straight back into cover. Over here, Force Commander is getting suppressed because I forgot about him. And there are a lot of units over there. Luckily, we should be able to get rid of that D cannon right now. There it is. And another spammy grenade. Over and over and over again they go. Let me see. Maybe... God, there are so many. And there's no webway gates or anything either. I don't know where they're getting all these units from. It's just endless. Put him back in focus fire mode. Assault Squad jump into there, bust them up just a minute, and then retreat back to cover. All of you guys, I need you to focus on that D cannon, like right now, or the shuriken. Maybe send the commander back down and into here. What are they doing? No wonder they're getting shot up. I told them to get to the top of the stairs. Alright, good. So now we finally busted up this position, which was an ordeal. We're pretty beat up, though. I could retreat everybody back to there for now. Let me take my remaining scout. We'll take Cyrus and have a look at what's over here. If there's anything too nasty, we're going to have to get back and replenish our forces. It doesn't look like it's too horrific. Assault squad is we are the Emperor's mailed fist. Wipe out some of the Eldar over there. See if maybe we can draw them back in. They do have a lot of melee troops right here, which is a good thing actually. Where we needed. Send them over and then we'll have Avidus move up. Hopefully these banshees over here will jump on these guys rather than any of the other groups. I can't guarantee it, though. Cyrus is not really going to be of any huge amount of use to me right now. Alright, let's maybe jump them in right here. No. There we go. So I would like them to jump in right there. Very good. And so now we can drop him out of stealth. And we should be able to finish this combat off rather nicely. Or at least somewhat squarely. Four it is done. 
All right, so we got some dreadnought plating there. We did get some new items, which are going to help us out during this boss fight that's coming up in just a moment. We'll be able, from this communications array, to get our units back, too, which will be nice. If I miss anything down and in over here, we're going to need everything we can get our hands on right now. We've been making pretty heavy use of Cyrus. Cyrus here. Go ahead. But he's got enough stuff left over to where I think he'll still be useful for this final fight. Kind of one of those tooth and nail fights. I'm not going to clear out the other side because I'm worried about my hard drive being full. The reason I worry is because I've got a super speedy hard drive that I render everything to or that I capture video to. And because it's super speedy, it's super expensive for anything other than a tiny one. Fortunately, don't have endless funds. It is what it is being an LPer. It's kind of got to live with the supplies that you have. Let's go ahead and move people forward maybe. Or at least finish off everybody that's on this side of the road while we're at it. And down they go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have everybody kind of line up right here. I don't know how this last fight's going to go. This last fight could get a little bit nar nar, but I'm not positive. I don't really know where I want to deploy people either. All I know is that Meltas will be used liberally. There are some enemies left. Is that the Wraith Lord right there? Because we already killed one of those and it wasn't that bad. Maybe get into cover right there. Get them in right there. Oof, they've already taken a pretty good round. Let's get everybody... Actually, no. Let's get the Warlock first. Once we get the Warlock... There we go. Let's put our first round on the Wraith Lord. Which, surprisingly, well, unsurprisingly, didn't really do that much. We'll shift him out. Get him in there to go to fisticuffs. Devastators, I need in a good position. So let's... God, they're just getting butchered already. And that heal was one moment too late. We need the scouts in fairly close, too. Disengage. Oh, never mind. Wasn't quick enough. We'll melt a bomb that. And he's not out of melters yet, and we're getting flanked. Even better. That's what I like to see. Continue. We need another Melta on that. And then we're going to keep on running away if we can. No, 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 no. Need one more Melta. Fall back there. And we're down to what looks like our last medkit. That's okay, though. Oh, misclick. Get them out of the way if we can. Yeah, misclick right there got me. And they appear to be stuck up against that wall. Get them back into combat. Maybe throw another Melta. Ooh, we're good. Never mind. Let's make sure we wipe out the remainder of these guys while we're waiting on the mission to end. I thought it killed everything on the map once you finished, but maybe I'm wrong. There we go. Lots of guys dead. Even better. This victory will long be remembered in the halls of glory. We got ourselves a superior plasma gun. Probably not going to see a ton of use. 86%. Are we going to get the five? Good. We got all our resilience. Speed was terrible, as always. We got an additional deployment, which is going to help us out in the future. And since this episode is so damn long anyways, we're just going to do everything we would normally do. Not a ton of loot in that mission, but we got enough. Everyone dinged up except for Thaddeus, which is the only reason I brought him, is so maybe he gets some XP. Unfortunately, the game doesn't love me like that. 
Commander, Cyrus was correct. I have finished an analysis of additional data recovered from our recent battles against the Eldar on Meridian. They somehow managed to interfere with our scans of the Meridian system. I have compensated, and I fear there is far more evidence of Tyranid infestation on Meridian than I believed. What's more, long-range scans show the Hive Fleet is accelerating toward the capital world. I have transferred protocols for counteracting the Eldar sensor baffling to key stations across Meridian. Commander, this is Elena de Rosa. The skies... I mean... This alien swarm is filling the skies over Meridian. Now she wakes to the threat. I... I apologize for my rudeness earlier, Sergeant Avatus, was it? The Eldar sabotage campaign has crippled our defenses. Your help in keeping Meridian secure is critical. Where is Governor Vandis in all this? Governor Vandis and the Privy Council have withdrawn to... strategize. My failure to heed your warnings has already cost hundreds of thousands of lives in the Habspires. Commander, I implore you, help us keep Meridian from falling. Alright, well, we've got all kinds of crazy stuff to go about, but let's do our leveling up first. We've got Cyrus here. I don't really... Yeah, let's keep putting energy in. I mean, that's all I really can do. With the Brigandine of Honor. I really... That's what he was wearing before, I think, or something like that. No, it wasn't. That one's a level 9 scout armor that has less armor, but it has way more range damage and way more energy. So I think I'm going to take it since most of the things we use him for are energy dependent. Put a few more into there until we get to advanced infiltrate. Once we get there, I'll start looking at everything else and figure out what I want to work towards next. Looking at Avatus. Furious Absolution, we can go ahead and donate that to the Librarium. Let's figure out what we can use him for here. So I'd like to get his damage kind of beef caked out. We picked up the Armor of Victory, which gives him a big ol' boost to his range damage, plus 9%, which when you're at 200 plus, you know, that's a pretty good boost. That gives you a nice little chunk. It's a good upgrade. From there, we can use the Signum twice per mission now, which is going to be nice. And then I'm going to work him towards that second slot, and we're going to give him the Rosarius so that he can either shield us, which would have been nice in that last fight with the boss, or he can call in artillery strikes with Thaddeus. Thaddeus did not have the benefit of actually leveling up much. I think we can probably donate some of these, though, to the Librarium, just to make sure everybody's good to go. Maybe give him Crimson Immortality, which will give him range damage resistance, because he was getting chewed up in that last mission. I'm still playing with him. I don't really know how to get him to work out the best. I, I'm new with Thaddeus. I never choose to use him. You guys talk me into it because you guys say I don't get outside my shell enough. So we used him on that mission. We might use him on another one. He does seem like he has his uses. I just I need to lock down the overall strategy for the whole thing. Other nice stuff that it might be nice to have on him. Another loadout slot would be pretty bitchin'. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to. Let's go check out the Force Commander really quickly. We have so many high-level armors just hanging out waiting to be used. Neophytic Pride we can get rid of. We can also get rid of the Brigandine of Swiftness. We can get rid of just about everything low-level that we have on hand. He's using the Curus of Azariah, which was really good. I was happy with that drop. He has a plus 9% melee damage armor that we could equip him with. It has way higher armor, but he loses a bit of melee skill. Might be worth doing. Let me see here. Yeah, so it's going to increase his melee damage a bit. It's not quite as awesome looking as everything else that he's been using, but it'll work for now. We do have the Iron Fist. I should probably put that on somebody, right? Thaddeus can't use it yet. It's level 10. All right. Well, that's a little weak. Crusader's Zeal, uh, I don't know. I tend to get him killed too much, so I don't really think I want to use it there. He leveled up again, though, which is good. Let's get him a little bit further towards Terminator Honors, and then we'll start beefcaking out his health a little bit, I think. Other than that, we can't use Black Rage on him. It's not high enough level, unfortunately. Crusader's Zeal, we didn't want to use either way. Get rid of the Plasma Gun. Start dropping some of this other stuff that I'm not going to use towards the Librarium. Superior Plasma Gun, probably not going to use. Some of this nasty plating, probably not going to use. We do have, like, magic versions already, I think, or the green versions for some of them. Yeah, so we'll get rid of these platings. 
And Despair of the Heretics. That's going to be really, really nice for Tarkus, but let's get him level. He's maxed out there. Maybe make him a bit more tanky at this point. There we go. So he's got a bit more taunt. And he's now level 9, so he can't use any of the stuff that I really want him to use, but he'll be okay for now. Force Commander. It's a tough call between the melee and throwing him a bunch more HP. He hasn't seemed to have been losing a lot of health, so maybe I'll just make him a bit more deadly. So there's 8 more damage, and that leaves us right where I'd like to be for the end of the episode. Thank you for joining me here in the Nerd Castle today, guys. It has been a lot of fun, and I will see you in the next episode. You'll forgive my brief ending, but time is tick, tick, ticking away. You guys know the old song. I will see you guys in the next episode, and take care out there, everybody.